currently standing in my closet which needs a lot of help I have a lot of things like you know we are in a minimalistic journey but my closet and my husband's closet no I started in my kids closet yesterday and uh, in um, when I'm, I do laundry, I check everything and make sure that I got rid of the clothes that does not fit anymore, the clothes that look faded. If there was duplicate of the same color of shirts, um, I got rid of it and I can donate for other kids to enjoy. So currently standing in my closet, I'm going to show you guys where I started, um, where I already start decluttering and uh, what shoes is left. And uh, I'm going to take you guys and we are going to continue down here which is in my um, shirt, uh, dresses, with a whole lot of dresses, which I don't wear everything, and uh, jackets. I love clothes. Um, if you see my page, I love clothes. I am a fashionista by heart, but I really need to minimize and wear things I love. Not because I purchased it, I need to keep it. So that's what I'm gonna take you guys, and we are going to get it done. Come with me. So this is what my closet looked like before. It wasn't that bad for other people, but for me, it was a lot. I had a lot of things. You're going to see that when I decluttered them, I was not wearing them, things did not fit, and it was just time to let it go. And my shoes is already decluttered. I only have about 10 pair of shoes, which for me, it's good. <laughs> So this bag on the floor is me already decluttering my kids clothes so I'm just going to remove everything out of the closet and put it on the bed just one um, thing that I can tell you guys is remove everything from your closet one by one so you can start with the t-shirt or pants but just remove them all and then begin to declutter each one of them so like this shirt it doesn't even fit me it was a friend who gifted to me and this one as well doesn't fit me so anything that i don't see myself repurchasing or wearing within a year i got rid of it i am not going to be sentimental about clothes So this is my key pile. I think I have the third of my clothes, which is good because I'm able to look through it and see what I need. And right now I'm doing my jacket portion and getting rid of what I don't need. I'm telling you, it's a lot of jackets. A lot of them were so small. Some of them were outdated. They're not colors that I will ever purchase again. So I'm just getting rid of those right now. So I'm just gonna put back all the clothes that I decided to keep one by one and I'm starting with the dark colors and I'm gonna move on to the clear colors on the right side so I just I still have a bit um, more clothes than your usual person but it's better than where it was previously and I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of what it looks like right now So right now I'm just going to move uh, forward with my uh, jacket and my dresses. So I removed the dresses that were there and I added the jacket that I already declutter. And I'm just keeping what I really wear and what I really like instead of just keeping a jacket because I have it in the closet. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep adding more and we are going to move towards the dress section. So we're just going to move to the dresses and go ahead and declutter those and keep what we need and i'm going to show you guys a close-up of what they look like they look so good now the closet is more inviting now for me at least so there is the final look guys remember how bulky and tight it was here it's so refreshing it's so nice i need more colors in my clothes though <laughs> i'm more of a gray girl and black so we are going to move on to the bottom and my pants and skirt can still get some declutter but so far for real guys i got rid of anything that i did not want or that i did not wear and everything that's here is things that i do wear and i will be wearing 
so i'm so excited for what it looks like now and i'm gonna take you guys downstairs actually this is gonna be a bonus video and i'm going to do a little bit of cleaning down there for you guys to see look at my dresses i think they're so cute it inspires me to be able to wear all of them now instead of wearing only specific specific ones so what do you guys think guys leave a comment below i would love to know what you guys are thinking about it and are you inspired to do your closet <laughs> let me know After this whole decluttering se section, guys, look how my bedroom is so messy with so many hangers. You're going to see the hangers I have kept after decluttering and the hangers, I don't even know how they got here. Do you know when you bring your clothes to the, um, what is it called, dry cleaners and then they dry clean your clothes, you know the hangers that come with it, those wire hangers, I had so many of those. And I'm gonna show you guys it was just hysterical I needed to get rid of them I was just like why do I keep these here I'm telling you this is so satisfying guys if you are on a journey for a clutter free home and a minimal home do this get rid of these hangers now get rid of them <laughs> Look at how many hangers I kept, guys, after this. It's a lot, right? And that's not even all. I still have those wire hangers, which I will go and throw away. But I just wanted to show you guys how many I just got rid of. So my closet is final on this end, at least. I have to do my husband's and finish my kids, but I'm super excited. Look at these hangers, guys. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's awful. So I'm gonna take the clothes um, back into my laundry room and so I can bring it for goodwill and let's get here cleaning. I'm not sure if you guys have a catch-all place but this is my catch-all place it catches everything that I have to bring downstairs and all the kids even everybody remembers that if it's on the staircase it needs to go downstairs so I'm going to bring it here and dump it in the trash and we are gonna do some dishwashing and that was the only cleaning I had to do that night because I made sure that the, the house was kept clean throughout the whole whole week but I always cook at night and uh, when the kids eat the leave the dishes and things like that so we're just going to go ahead and put it all in the dishwasher and get it all clean i feel like a clean home is like a joyful and inviting home so i always want to make sure that my countertop is all uh, is empty and there's nothing there that will make the home smell so we're just going to go ahead and get this place all fresh and cleaned out and i'm going to show you guys the final reveal Don't you love a clean countertop guys i feel like i can breathe now clean sink 
clean countertop is the way to go i feel like the house looks so much better that way um do you guys love cleaning uh keeping your countertop clean let me know in the comment below but thank you so much guys for watching the whole video i appreciate you guys if you, this is the very first time you are seeing any of my videos my name is gladys i would truly appreciate if you click on that subscribe button and do not forget to click on the notification bell i do lifestyle videos here and i'm an inspired minimalist so i would truly appreciate to see you guys again and leave comments below present yourself let me know who are watching my videos and i will truly appreciate it bye y'all